So tell me, what is it like? You know, you've got wonderful parents here, but what's it like to pretend Paul Rudd is your dad? He's a pretty nice guy, right? Yeah, yeah, he's very nice. He's sweet and funny and a great actor. And I think um, my dad and Paul Rudd, some of uh, my neighbor says that they could be brothers. Hey, <laughs> Look <out>. lucky me. <laughs> That's pretty good. And so, you know, th this has been, uh, three years is a long time for someone your age. Does it feel like a really long time ago that you made the first Ant-Man movie? No, for me, time flies. And so, it does seem like yesterday. what have you kind of learned in between that time, you know, from the first one to the second one? I'm, I'm sure you're even better uh, than you were in the first one, right? Um, I have, well, I'm older, so I'm more experienced at acting. And you have more teeth. Oh, and I have more teeth. <laughs> so, of course, Paul Rudd is great, but I mean, who else did you really enjoy? Did you learn from anybody else on set? Um, Evangeline Lilly. Evangeline Lilly, everybody loves her. What's so great about working with her? She's really an inspiring person, and she's wonderful just to be around. And, you know, um, I'm. Do you have a favorite bad guy in a movie? It doesn't have to be a comic book movie, but is there somebody that you know scares you or that you like to see that's kind of a bad person, though? Voldemort. Uh, uh, Voldemort. I was feeling that. I was feeling yeah, um, I love the Harry Potter movies, and I really feel like Voldemort, including a, a villain in one of my book series, um, The Enchantress. Um, they both really didn't turn bad from just pure anger. They really had backgrounds but that really showed to make that anger and villainy. So yeah, you learn, you understand why. So yeah, well great, well thanks so much. Great to meet you.